Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for Friday, October 9th. Uh, we've finished a week-long video <laughs> series, as it were, about the um, Kukura Vataka Sutta. <clears throat> and to close out, um, I wanted to provide a small warning. Um, particularly within the scope of anapana meditation. I have heard um, some meditation instructors, <clears throat> excuse me, not in the Vipassana tradition, um, but elsewhere, request students to cultivate things in anapana meditation. So you're following the breath, you're following the breath, but they say, oh, don't just observe, but create something. Create loving feelings, create compassionate feelings, create wholesome feelings, wholesome states of mind. Um, I would warn against this uh, because you can really, so we discussed this sort of the spectrum right? <laughs> that leads away from us through darkness, through lightness, um, and ultimately perhaps to perfection or to non-action. Um, and this, uh, this idea, these words are actually um, akanhang asukhang. Um, so not dark and not light. This is, this is the aim of our meditation practice. Um, not to indulge in anything, uh, even if it seems really wholesome, even if it seems really um, wonderful, um, to simply observe, to not act, non-action. And to cultivate something, to create something, you cannot create non-action. Um, this is the paradox I referred to earlier, that the sutta describes this action as, um, as the action which destroys action. Um, akanhang, asukang, not dark, not light. Well, okay, then what is it? Oh, well, it's really nothing, right? <laughs> you're, a, you're engaging in um, this activity of, of turning away from abandoning those things. The dark and the light, both. You just simply bring your attention back to the breath. You bring your attention back to the breath over and over and over again, but you are constantly abandoning these things. And the description of um, this action, which destroys other actions, is that you abandon. That's a fairly reasonable English translation. Abandon. Uh, you abandon the unwholesome, you abandon the wholesome, and you abandon the mix. You are coming back to non-action. You are coming back to this action which destroys other actions. Um, and again, this is part of the reason that this sort of literature is very difficult uh, to access, very difficult to understand, is because it requires direct experience. To hear these words without meditating doesn't make any sense. Um, or it sounds very, it sounds very new agey, right? Or, or fluffy, like, oh, non-action. Oh, okay. Don't react, right? Like, these are ideas. And the ideas themselves, in our sandbox, in our laboratory of meditation, they don't work, right? The ideas subscribe to one end of the spectrum or the other. 
the idea of non-action is dark or light. It is only non-action itself which abandons both. Um, and so in that respect, if you are practicing anapan meditation, I strongly recommend that you do not try to cultivate anything. Negative, positive, it doesn't matter. Um, do not cultivate. Simply observe, if you can. Uh, I, I don't think that there's any harm in practicing other meditations which involve cultivation, but try not to mix cultivation with anapana, uh, if at all possible. All right, that's a small warning slash lecture for today, um, and that's probably enough. Uh, I hope everyone is taking really good care of themselves. I hope everyone is taking good care of everyone around them. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.